let's move on to nesting. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, with foundations grid classes, you can actually nest rows within these columns. Why don't I remove the large and medium classes? And I'll delete this text. And let's create a nested row. So what I want is small, mm, let's go small six and small six. We don't need the end class anymore because each of these equal 12. And what nesting means is simply adding another div with the class of row within one of your columns. On smaller screens, I want my nested row to be, let's go with six. So we'll put small dash six. And put nested six here. And let's put nested six on the other one as well. And then just six here. So if I refresh it now, remember each of my columns has a border, so it, you've got sort of a double border thing going on here. Uh, but because I have a nested row within the first column, I now have it split in half. The nested row behavior is similar to its parent in that you cannot go greater than 12, otherwise uh, you'll break the layout. When I move up to larger screens, the behavior will remain the same uh, because of our mobile first approach. The next thing I wanna talk about is offsetting columns. Now suppose you only want a single column, and let's get rid of all of these. We'll start with the columns div. And let's say we wanted a large column uh, six, but we wanted it to be centered. If we leave it like that, oops, columns div six, and refresh it. Oh, switch to a large screen. You'll see here that um, it's floated to the left. If we wanted to, we could offset this, and we would do that by typing large dash offset dash number of columns that you want to offset it by. Now keep in mind, if we were to have a second div, we would have to make sure that its column number is not greater than three, because the offset number is counted towards the uh, number of columns that are spanning a particular row. First, let's look at this example. And I'll refresh it. And you'll see here now that my large div has been offset by three columns. If I wanted a second div, and I'll remove the offset, and we'll make it three. Change this one to three. You'll see here that my uh, content is still offset by three columns. If this second div goes larger than three, it'll break my layout. So remember that the offset number is added into the equation here. We're talking about a row of 12 columns. Let's go ahead and delete this. And let's see what happens when we go to smaller screens. On a medium size screen, because we started out with the large class, the offset will be ignored because our large is set as an offset and our large dash six will become full width on smaller screens.